Today's a new day, a better day for the camera. I learned this trick from one of Erin Guilfoy's videos, who learned it from Brandon Calvillo. And basically what you do is tape the bottom of the camera to the dashboard. Should stay for the most part. Okay. Well, I'm gonna restart it. I have my GPS on so I don't get anxiety. There you go. Well, I forgot yesterday to tell you guys about my job. So I'll do that. As you guys already know, I am a professional dog walker, dog sitter, whatever you want to call it. So the background of like how I got my job is so... After high school, I went to community college for four years. I feel like I don't finish my words all the way. I went to community college for four years. And then after that, I transferred and I graduated from there. And I went to a CSU. And I've been here for two years now. Um, and so when I started at the CSU, I started slowly applying for just like jobs. And towards the end of last semester, and the beginning of the semester, I started going crazy on the applications, started uh, applying for anything and everything. And I have not had any luck. <laughs> surprise, surprise. I signed up for this app called Rover. And there's like five things you can do. You can board dogs, and basically what that means is just have the dog stay at your house for the night. You can have like a doggy daycare, or you can drop in at people's houses and check on the dog for like 30 minutes. You can walk the dog, or house sit, which is basically where you stay overnight at the other person's house, at the pet owner's house and you watch their pets. I signed up for a house sitting, um, drop-ins and walks because that's all I can do right now. I really love my job. It's very therapeutic and it's just a little bit of extra cash that I need. That's how I decided to become a dog walker because I'm a broke-ass college student who needs money and who loves dogs. But I'm not gonna lie, some dogs scare the crap out of me. Uh, <laughs> but other than that, it's, it's fun. If you're a pet owner and you are going away for the weekend or you want someone to check up on your pet during the day, <clears throat> I ended up getting cut off by my memory card when I was explaining more about the dog walking and dog sitting or whatever you want to call it. I was just going to mention that you can use my referral code um, for your first booking and you'll end up getting $20 off. So if you're going on vacation or you want someone to check on your pet, definitely use my referral code so that you can get a really good discount. And it's not required for like sitters and walkers to get a background check, but it'd be like a badge that shows up on their profile that says that they did go through a background check. And I went through a background check, so check it out if you're interested. And it's really easy to become like a sitter, so if you're interested in that, definitely do it. It's fun. Um, but be safe. Definitely be safe. <laughs> Okay, everyone, guess what came in the mail today? My tripod. And it is honestly amazing. Like, I know you guys are probably like, why is she so excited for a damn tripod? But uh, it just, it's mind-blowing to me because it's so much easier to carry my camera and I'm not holding, like, this really bulky thing and I can carry my camera for much longer because that shit's like, heavy. <laughs> It's just, I can just go further. You guys won't be able to see my double chin. <laughs> but you know what? No shame in double chins because 
they're awesome and yeah I can just go further away can come closer and yeah I just wanted to share with you guys that my tripod came okay I wanted to be cute and super profesh and do a review for you guys <laughs> um the brand is Manfrotto hopefully I said that right and this specific tripod is called the Pixie Mini Tripod. Love it. It's super minimalistic. I actually watched a couple reviews, which I'll link in the description below, which actually helped me decide um, what kind of tripod to get because, as I mentioned before, being a college student, I'm broke as freak. So I want to make sure that I spend my money on something that I'll like and that I'll use. And this is definitely something that I'll use. And yeah, this is just how it looks. I'll set it up for you guys. You just have to spread out the legs like this. That's what she said. <laughs> for it to be a functioning tripod, I guess. That's what you would say. If you're wondering what this red dot does, it just locks the camera in a specific position. So you can change the angle of the camera. You just click the button and you can move it this way, this way, that way, any way you want basically. Right here, right there, you can screw that part at the bottom of the camera and it will stay. The camera I've been using is called the Rebel T3i I believe. It's a Canon camera. And I don't think that this tripod is made to hold this camera, but it actually does a really, really good job. It just makes holding the camera more bearable because it's not bulky at all. And my hands are small as freak. I'll show you guys how it looks with the camera on. I just have to do that through my phone. So I'll be right back. All right, all right, all right. This is how it looks. This is how it looks when I hold it. It might look extremely goofy if I go out in public with this and just like walk with this pointing towards my face. But I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do for the things you love doing. So yeah, this is it. As I said before, I'll link the reviews that I watched that helped me make the decision to buy this tripod because they were obviously more informative than I am but yeah so if you want to start your own channel or if you're looking for a good tripod I'll also leave the Amazon link in which I purchased this so you can find it very easily all right please like and comment tell me what you guys want me to do Please tell me what you guys want me to do. I'm still waiting for those comments. Um, don't forget to subscribe. And yeah, until next time. Honestly, so much better. Uh, let's see if I can unscrew this. Oh shit, I can't. Okay. Oh. Got it. We'll be back after these brief messages. Okay. That was my dad telling me to be smart. Because technically I just got in trouble. My camera's dying.
look at this. Like, where's my double chin? Nowhere. Look at this. Oh my god. I am loving this. But no shame on my double chin. This is amazing. <laughs> the brand is Mana... M Man Manfrotto. 